Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club. Today we are reviewing All About History magazine issue number 107 and I know it's been quite a while since I reviewed an All About History magazine. In fact it's been quite a while since I actually read one even though I keep continuing to buy them which is a bit of a problem. I mean they're piling up downstairs. I bought this one in September and I only finished it now. I just, I've been reading other stuff. I've been listening, got back into Wild Cards. I've been listening to them on Audible, um, got back into Philippa Gregory. So just haven't had that much downtime to read magazines, but I was really interested in this one because it has the she wolf of France, Isabella of Angoulême, who I'm really interested in. It also had this article about Hans Holbein, and I do love me some Holbein. I remember when I went to the National Portrait Gallery, I spent probably like 40 minutes staring at his, is it called, picture of Christina of Milan. I love that. Also, this bit about samurais. Um, I thought I would give it a go. Also, I've been carrying this magazine around so much, this happened. So if I put this down in the middle of the video, please don't be annoyed. So continuing, I've taken the cover off. So if you're wondering, it's sitting here, but just falling all over the place. So you open it up, you get your timeline. Beautiful picture of Isabella of Angoulême. I'm sorry if this is a different setup today. I just couldn't be bothered setting up my other setup because I'm going to work in a couple of hours. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it like this. It's more informal and you get to see me. And then we have our all about bathing, which I quite enjoyed because who doesn't love a bath? And I think um, baths throughout history are super interesting. So bathing. I really like the bathing machine in this picture. I've always fancied one of those, the Victorian bathing machines. You just like roll into the sea. I always think it'd be so cool to like sit in one and have a tea party. And really cool signs and I always think it's interesting that people were so against washing, you know? Flowers. Anyway, I enjoyed it. It wasn't overly interesting. I did like the stuff about the pioneers of washing and I liked also there was some stuff about the like gods of washing which was interesting enough. Not super my thing but I liked it. And then some stuff about how clean um, medieval people were. There's an article about that. Also, famous bathing places. Where's the map? Yeah, there's the map. Pretty cool, right? There's one in Spain. Um, was it called Up in Granada? I haven't been to it. My parents have been to it. And I believe it's meant to be super, super, super beautiful. I'd love to go. Where is that? I'm going to find the photo. Here it is. But it's quite expensive. I think it's like 60 euros for an hour for one person. So I haven't been but I'd like to go, I think it'd be fun. And then we get on to our main article about Isabella, the she-wolf of France. Good article. It talked a lot about the myths and the location of Isabella over time and also the romanticization of her in Braveheart. There is a picture from Braveheart. Also the first English queen to enter open rebellion against her husband. I mean, I would say that's arguably not true because of Eleanor of Aquitaine but you know that's my opinion. There was some good artwork from the period, well not from the period but historically over time but there was nothing really I didn't know in this article because I have read the Alison Weir's books, The She Wolf of France, her biography of Isabella's life so there's nothing I didn't really know and then there was this article, How to Beat the Romans, which was right also again nothing I didn't really know I did like the goose in this but just like little articles I'd read before and like documentary subjects you know it's interesting but not brilliant then there was some stuff about Ian Fleming which I won't lie I skimmed I like James Bond to an extent but it's not my favorite thing in the world so I read a bit of it not all of it I did really love this page though. I think this page would make an amazing poster. And um, I plan to make some cards out of the little James Bond book titles, which I think would be good. I actually bought my boyfriend Octopussy for his birthday last year. I just thought it sounded funny. Also, he likes James Bond. Then we have The Way of the Warrior about samurai culture, 
which I've actually really enjoyed. I read this on the plane and I learned a lot about um, ritualistic suicide within samurai culture that I didn't know. I mean, we've all seen like the puns and the jokes, but it was a very informed article, which I really enjoyed. And it was interesting as well to know that the last ritualistic suicide happened after the Second World War in Japan. I didn't personally know that. I thought it happened about 30 years before that. So I, I liked it. Good. You're not good for me. Then there was the article about Hans Holbein, which I looked forward to reading. Does nobody else, or does anybody else, think that Hans Holbein looks a little bit like Henry VIII? Not a lot, just a little. Maybe it's the beard, or maybe it's me. Who knows? But I enjoyed it. And there was also stuff about his early work, you know, of course, the famous ambassador painting and what everything represents within the ambassador painting, why he moved to England, the role of religion within his work, his patronage of the, by the king, the sad fact that his career was cut short by the plague. And I liked it. I did like it. Also, you know, they could have talked a little bit more about some of his later work, I thought, but you see the pseudo armor. I've seen that in real life in the Tower of London, so I was pretty happy about that. I mean, that's something that I thought was kind of cool. Um, and there's an article about can we trust Herodotus, which of course you can't. Of course you can't. If you've ever done any studies of history, all historians are biased and we all know it. So that article was just a bit silly in my respect, though I did read it. And then we've got this battle report which I never read because they're not worth reading because I'm not really into war. Though I did like some of the photos of like the Russian military. And then we get to what if the RAF had lost the Battle of Britain, which I think my stepdad enjoyed reading more than I did. He's obsessed with the Battle of Britain and the Dam Busters. I don't really know why, but he is. Um, it's all right, but it was one of those articles where you know what would have happened we would have lost the war, you know? I read it, it was all right. Then we have this history of tanks, which I thought was pretty good. I did really enjoy the pink tank. And I, I don't know, I find tanks kind of fascinating, you know? I mean, they're pretty cool. Also, my grandfather on my father's side, who was a sniper in the Second World War, was in the largest tank battle of the Second World War. So I find that pretty interesting. I also love, love tanks. I've not been inside a tank, but it is something I would like to do. And then we have our reviews. So we have reviews of Six Minutes to Midnight, which I read about. I quite like the idea of this movie. I didn't get the best review, but I think I would watch it. And then two book reviews, which I didn't really care for. Um, the Nile, a book on the Nile, which I think would be interesting about the Nile through history and the role the Nile has played because it's been Europe's bread basket. And then A Bridge Too Far, which is, uh, you know, old movie. Then we get on to Tomato Soup Cake. And if you watched my baking video from Valentine's Day, I made Tomato Soup Cake for Valentine's Day and it was the most delicious thing in the world. I plan to make it many more times in the future sounds disgusting but it's so good it's like if you got a ginger cake and a carrot cake and you smushed them together into one cake this is the delicious cake you would get but anyway guys that is my review of all about history magazine issue 107 if you like this video be sure to check out my other all about history reviews you can also like comment and subscribe to help out the channel you can also follow me on instagram at lady jessica riddell also, a bit of news, um, for my birthday, my boyfriend bought me a title, so I am officially now a lady. The Lady of Ardmore. Pretty cool, right? Okay, bye.